I, I don't know if I can describe in words the importance of this kind of a park. It, it's, it's a certain sense of magic to me that I can be in a city the size of Vancouver and have all of this at my doorstep. It's one of the features that's so unique about this city, that we are a city of parks, a city of greenery, a city of trees. I think a lot of people, and me included, would describe it as kind of the heart of the city. The, the importance of Stanley Park could, cannot be overstated. I wish that every city in the world could have a place like Stanley Park. It awes me every time, and it makes me happy. I'm always happier when I come to Stanley Park. You have to experience it, or you haven't seen Vancouver if you haven't seen Stanley Park. People come here from not just within Vancouver, but all over the Lower Mainland, from all around the world to experience what Stanley Park has to offer. wildlife of all sorts out in the forest too from the iconic raccoons and squirrels to the more elusive uh, coyotes and river otters, uh, beavers, so it's an exciting place. It exemplifies very prominently how important nature is to our everyday lives. The park has everything for everybody. If you're a tourist to the park it's got a world-renowned aquarium. If you're a local to the park and you like to exercise, there's the phenomenal seawall that you can walk and rollerblade and, and bike around. You've got the miniature train ride. Uh, there's also a lots of First Nations history within the park. So there's really a lot of everything that can appeal to everybody within Stanley Park. I think the fact that it's a peninsula and it's isolated, you feel like you're coming into a different world. It never feels even crowded. I, I think that's a nice thing about it. The fact that I could come here today, or even any early morning, uh, and not feel like I'm anywhere near the city. Stanley Park makes me feel like that, that I can feel truly alive. I can be one with nature. Um, I can be, more than anything else, just be.